Previously on the Bohemian, we left the marina to see how far we could sail, made it to my nemesis, the bridge, filled the bilges with water, had a bad night's sleep, put on our sailing clothes, and headed back to haul out. So we spent the night in a spectacular anchorage close to Annapolis just south of Baltimore called the McGothy River. The morning came early and it wasn't soon after we hoisted the sails. The wind was at our back and their current was in our favor. We spent all day arranging the sails and practicing our skills. By nightfall, we ended up in the same anchorage the first time I ever sailed the Bohemian. So that's the end of our first practice run in the Chesapeake. And it's a different, it's different. It's a different feeling. The first time, it was pretty damn exciting and just didn't know what to expect. And I don't think I'll ever get that feeling again. It's, it's like a drug, I think. It's the first time, or, or alcohol for the first time, or anything for the first time. It was great the first time, but you'll never, I don't think, I don't know if you'll ever find it again. And so it's like three hours. We have to sit here for like two hours until the tide goes up before we can get into the marina. But it's pretty peaceful around here, and it's probably like seven o'clock in the morning. And, uh, I think I learned a lot just in the last two or three days. I learned never take your boat out <laughs> when she's leaking like a sieve and definitely have a trash pump to where if something goes wrong, you got a gas trash pump to pump out the water out of your boat if you've got no electricity or your build stops working and um, or there's an accident. So, and then I learned some of the how to arrange the sails a little bit. And uh, so we're gonna go back, pull the boat out, fix the things that needs to be fixed. And uh, as soon as that's done, Shelly will, will kind of hang around a little bit, prepare for the trip and take off. So. We spent the night in this awesome anchorage and it just so happened to be called Bohemia Bay. Just fitting for a boat called the Bohemian I think the image of that bay will be embedded in my mind for a long time. So we motored a short distance east up the C&D Canal. Once you get into the canal, there's not much out here but trees. Until you reach Chesapeake City, not so good for sailboats, but a quick shortcut for large container ships. I hate to say it, but the entrance to the marina was a sight for sore eyes after all the drama that happened two nights prior. So I'm going to chill out on the hard for a while. I'll sand the bottom of the boat, let the heat of the summer give the Bohemian time to dry out. Fix all the leaks, have a little whiskey with a friend every once in a while. It's a perfect private work yard with hardly any neighbors. As long as you keep the dust down when sanding, not too many rules to worry about. So I'm not content in this little world I've made for myself. Let the sanding begin. Next on the Bohemian, my daughter and grandson come to help for the long passage to Florida. Kara catches crabs and we have an old fashioned crab boil. Mm. Look at that. It's hot, Dakota. Mm. 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 